Topping our morning rush, Bernalillo County's attempt to help with the homeless crisis is to make changes for residents at their tiny home village. One of the biggest changes is the policy requiring people to be sober for 30 days before getting approved. That's out. The county says they'll be at 50% capacity by the end of this month, but now they need more staff. This morning we are learning more about the suspect in a June murder at Coronado Park. Albuquerque police say that Joseph Garcia called himself the mayor of that park that is home to a number of homeless people. APD says that Garcia is known to deal drugs at Coronado Park and that the shooting victim, Andrew Aguilar, was a drug user. This morning the city is asking residents to be patient. This despite speeding drivers not seeming to be deterred by Albuquerque's nine new speed cameras. The city says it's too early to tell if the cameras are slowing down drivers, insisting that this is a long-term project. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures are comfortable this morning, starting in the upper 60s with sunny skies. And by this afternoon, it is going to be hot out there with a chance for an isolated storm. The man accused of murdering two Muslim men in Albuquerque is scheduled to be back in court. Right now, Mohammed Syed is accused in the killings of Aftab Hussein and Mohammed Afsal. Today, prosecutors will argue to keep Syed behind bars until trial. That hearing is set for 2.30 this afternoon. We will be there and following it for you. City of Oswell is now trying to work and get uh, animals out of a shelter sooner by encouraging adoption. This comes as an animal rights group is not happy with the conditions the animals are in. Last night, the city responded with a public meeting for people to voice their concerns, saying they are working on fixing the issue. President Biden has signed the Inflation Reduction Act into law. The bill, it's billed as the nation's biggest ever single climate investment. It directs nearly $400 billion in climate and energy programs, including tax credits and incentives to cut emissions by 40% over the next eight years. Erica. All right, here's a look at the threat index. It is high today. We'll see scattered storms across the state with burn scar flooding and flash flooding possible. With the Inflation Reduction Act now signed, New Mexicans will continue to qualify for price breaks on health care plans. According to Be Well New Mexico, New Mexicans on those plans will now continue to get the price break through at least 2025. Well, tomorrow a federal judge will hear the case calling to unseal the DOJ affidavit used as justification for the FBI search of former President Donald Trump's Florida home. The Justice Department is arguing against unsealing the documents, claiming that it could compromise their ongoing criminal investigation. Erica. All right, and here's a look at traffic. We are seeing clear conditions on the roads, no accidents or slowdowns to report. Tracker is currently heading west on I-40 at the Big Eye, where everything's moving at speed. A toddler in Georgia is being credited for helping find an elderly woman who had been missing for four days. Brittany Moore and her son Ethan, they were in their backyard when something in woods, in the woods rather, caught Ethan's eyes. That was 82-year-old Nina Linscombe, Lipscomb. Well, Nina has the early onset of Alzheimer's and wandered from a nearby home where she was visiting family. Time now for the five facts. At number five, audiences can now enjoy a classic film with the chemo with a major twist. The 1964 western A Fistful of Dollars has been dubbed into the Navajo language. Well, this is the third film that the Navajo Nation Museum has dubbed following Star Wars and Finding Nemo. The goal is to rekindle interest in the language, which has unfortunately dropped to just 50% fluency among the Navajo people. The museum is working on which movie will come next. Number four, the city is calling on residents to be patient despite speeding drivers, not seeming to be deterred by Albuquerque's nine new speed cameras. The two cameras on Gibson have been there from the start. However, people who frequent the busy Gibson corridor say the 40 mile per hour zone appears to be a suggestion. In fact, dozens of them were caught driving more than 100 miles an hour on a, the city street. Neighbors have all but given up. The city says this is too early to tell if the cameras are working, insisting it's a long-term project. And number three, we will see scattered storms. Most of those are going to be in north, central, northeast, and southern New Mexico this afternoon. We could see some flooding in the northeast highlands and around the burn scars. Number two, now we're learning more about the suspect in a June murder at Coronado Park. Albuquerque police say Joseph Garcia called himself the mayor of that park. That's home to a number of homeless people. APD says Garcia is known to deal drugs at Coronado Park and that the shooting victim, Andrew Aguilar, was a drug user. The city plans to close the park by the end of the month. Chief Medina says wherever the homeless population from the park ends up, this department will focus on rooting out the drug trade. Detectives are still looking into the connection between the suspect and victim. And at number one, as uh, controversial homeless encampments surge, Bernalillo County is now trying to uh, out, trying out a new way rather to get residents into the tiny home village. They say that that could help with the crisis. One of the biggest changes is the policy requiring people to be sober for 30 days before getting approved. That's out. Well, there's also some help for those uh, dealing with drug addiction on the site. 
There are now 12 people living there and over 100 applicants, applicants are currently under review. The county says that they will be at 50% capacity by the end of the month.